we're now at 11.10 in our lessons, and this is adding and subtracting money. We can add and subtract money in vertical form. That means we stack the digits with the place values and decimal point lined up straight. We have to make sure our columns going up and down are nice and straight, and our decimal points are stacked nice and pretty on top of each other. If we bought a cupcake and a cookie, and this was the price of the cupcake and this was the price of the cookie, we could total them. We could add them and find the sum to find out how much money we spent. You have to remember to use a dollar sign when you're adding money, okay? Just remember that the decimal point separates the dollars from the cents. This is the dollar side and that's the cent side. We have to write that dollar sign in front of our answer and remember we can regroup 10 ones to a 10 and 10 tens to a dollar. So remember 10 pennies equal one dime, right? That's 10 ones and we regroup it as a dime and when we get 10 dimes we can regroup it as a dollar because that's 10 tens. Okay, so let's see if we can add these and we're going to follow the same rules as we did adding three digit numbers. We just now have this decimal point and a dollar sign that we have to put in. That's all. It's the same thing as adding 179 plus 274. We just have to remember there's going to be a decimal point that comes straight down right here and we're going to need a dollar sign. That's the only difference. Okay. So let's add the ones place first, like we should. 9 plus 4 is 13. We need to regroup the 1 and put the 3 down. Now we add the 7 plus 7, because that's a nice double to add. That's 14 plus 1 more is 15. And we just regroup, just like we would do with hundreds. It goes up into the dollars, see? We add the dollars, and we have 2, 3, 4. We have $4.53. See? Let me move this down to the bottom where it belongs. See? We just have to remember our dollar sign and our decimal point. Let's try this one. We have $1.63 plus $2.05. Now, do you notice there's no dollar sign here? That's because this one is representing both of them. Okay? We have the decimal point there, so we know we're adding two amounts of money. Let's add the ones place. 5 plus 3 is 8. 6 plus 0 is 6. We put our decimal point nice in a row, see? And then we add the 1 plus 2, which is 3, and remember our dollar sign. $3.68. All right, let's try it again. We're going to do another addition one. We're going to add $4.83 with 75 cents. You can write 75 cents like this with a cent sign, or we can put 0.75 to mean 75 cents. Because remember, everything on this side is cents, and everything on this side of the decimal point is dollars. So when you see this decimal point and then two numbers, you know it can mean money. All right, 75 cents. So let's add the ones place. 5 plus 3 is 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 plus 7 is, do you know? It's 15. We're going to regroup the 1 and put the 5 down. We're going to put our decimal point in a nice pretty column coming down. See? It matches those. Then we're going to add the 4 and the 1 and get a 5. And we're going to remember our dollar sign. And we have $5.58. Let's try it again. We've got $6.05 and we're going to add 98 cents. That's almost another dollar, isn't it? 98 cents. Because we could go 99, 100, and we'd be at a dollar, wouldn't we? So it's going to be really close to adding a dollar. We add the ones place. 8 plus 5 is 13. 9 plus 0 plus 1. 9 plus 0 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. We need to regroup again. We need to put the 1 up here and the 0 from the 10 down here. We need to put our decimal point right here in a nice pretty row, I mean, column, I'm sorry, in a nice pretty column. And we have 6 plus 1 is 7. We have $7.03. All right. Let's try one more addition one before we do subtraction. We have $2.57, and we're going to add $5.83. We add the 1s. 
7 plus 3, that's a 10. We regroup the 1 and put the 0 down. Now we have to add the 10's place. We have 8 plus 5, that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 1 more is 14. We need to regroup it as the 1 up here and the 4 down here. So now we gave 1 to the dollars, didn't we? See our column coming down for our decimal points? We need to put our decimal point there and add our dollars. We have 5, 6, 7, 8. We have $8.40, okay? All right, let's try some subtraction. We have $3.06, and we need to take away 16 cents. We start with the ones place, and remember, we might need to regroup, okay? We're subtracting. Six take away six, that gives us a zero, doesn't it? Zero take away one, well, we can't do that. We need to borrow from the dollars. It's going to become two dollars, and this is going to become ten tens. Because ten tens are equal to a dollar, aren't they? So if we take one of the dollars away from here and give it to the tens place as ten tens, that's the same thing as that dollar. Now we can have ten tens and take away one ten. That's going to give us nine tens. We remember our decimal point in a nice straight column. And we bring down the two because we're not subtracting any other dollars from it. And we remember our dollar sign. We have $2.90. Let's try another one. We have $8.25, and we're going to take away $6.80. We do the ones place first. Five minus zero. Well, that's easy. That's a five. We have two and need to take eight away. We well, can't do that, so we're going to have to borrow from the dollars, aren't we? Eight, can we have a dollar? He says yes. He becomes a seven. This two becomes a twelve because we're taking ten tens, which is a dollar, and we need to regroup it. Now we have twelve take away eight, and that gives us a four. Remember our decimal point. 7 take away 6 is 1, and we have $1.45 for our answer, for our difference, okay? Let's try one more. We have $6.26. We're going to take away $3.08. We start with the 1s. Can we have 6 cents and take 8 cents away? Nope. So we need to regroup the 10s as 110. And this is going to become 16 ones. Now we have 16, take away 8. That's an 8. We have 1, take away 0. That's going to stay a 1. We bring down our decimal point, nice in a straight column, and we do 6 minus 3, which is 3. We remember our dollar sign. We have $3.18 for our difference. Let's try another one. And let's pretend this is how much money we have when we walk into the store, and this is how much we're spending, okay? So we had $6.23, and we're going to spend $3.61, and we want to see how much we have left over, okay? So let's start with the ones. Three, take away one, is two. Two, take away six. Mm-mm. Got to regroup. That's going to become a five, and we're going to add ten tens to this. So we're going to add a 10 to that, too. So that's going to become a 12 tens, isn't it? 12 take away 6 is 6. We remember our decimal point in a nice, neat column coming down. And 5 take away 3 is 2. We have $2.62 left over after we spend $3.61. Okay? So let's try some... One more with zeros in it right here, okay? We have $7, and we're going to spend $5.30. So zero take away zero is easy. That's a zero. And we have zero take away three. So we need to regroup this as a six. This is going to become ten tens because that's the dollar we took away to make ten dimes, right? Now we have 10, take away a 3, that's going to give us a 7. And we have 6, take away 5, that's going to give us a 1, we remember our dollar sign, all right? 
And remember, if you need to regroup to do the ones column, you can regroup and regroup. We did that in a previous video, didn't we? All right. There's lots of videos in this chapter that are helpful about adding and subtracting three-digit numbers.